simplify by finding a factor that is a perfect square. So, square root of 75 is equal to the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. And then square root of 25 is equal to 5. And then square root of 3 is in lowest term. So, it's just um, square root of 3. Square root of 32. So, square root of 32 is equal to square root of 16 times the square root of 2. And square root of 16 is equal to 4 and times root, root 2. So, 8 times square root of 28. So, this is equal to 8 times. We break down 28 into 4 and 7. And square root, of, uh, square root of 4 is equal to 2. So, 8 times 2 is equal to 16. And then square root of 7. So, 15 times the square root of 242. So, we have to break down 242 into two factors. One of which is a perfect square. So, the 15 is still there. So... So it's 121 and 2. So 15 and square root of 121 is 11. So this is times 11. And then square root of 2. And 15 times 11 is equal to 165. And then square root of 2. 4 times the square root of 8 times 3 times the square root of 14. So, 4, now 8 is not in lowest term, so we can break this into square root of 4 times square root of 2. Now, 3 times square root of 14, and 14 is in lowest terms. So, we have 4 times, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 2. 3 times square root of 14. So we have 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Square root of 2 times 3 square root of 14. So now we can multiply 2 times 14 is 28. So 8 times 3 is um, 24 square root of 14 times 2 square root of 28 so we're not done so square root of 28 is the same as 4 and 7 so tw 24 times square root of 4 times 7 and square root of 4 is equal to 2 so we have 24 times 2 root 7 or this is equal to forty-eight root seven. So we have five times square root of fifteen plus five. So this is square root of five um, can um, distribute inside the parentheses. So we have five times fifteen. So square root of seventy-five plus square root of five times square root of five, and square root of seventy-five is the same as the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. Now, square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is just 5. So, square root of 25 is equal to 5. And then we have square root of 3 plus 5. Another one? So, we have 8. Square root of 7 minus 2 square root of 7 plus 4 square root of 7. So this is equal to, so we just basically um, combine the numbers. So we have 8 minus 2 plus 4 is equal to 10 square root of 7. 
So number 8, we have 12 okay. times the square root of 12 is the same as square root of 4, square root of 3, plus 3 times the square root of 27 is the same as the square root of 9, square root of 3, minus 4, and then 25 is the same as the square root of 25 times square root of 3. So now we have 12 square root of 4 is equal to 2 square root of 3 plus 3 times square root of 9 is 3 and then square root of 3 minus 4 times square root of 25 is equal to 5 and then we have square root of 3. So 12 times 2 is equal to 24 square root of 3 plus 3 times 3 is equal to 9 square root of 3 minus 4 times 5 is 20 square root of 3 now they all have the same they are all the same square root of 3 so we can combine all the numbers so we have 24 plus 9 minus 20 so this is equal to 13 square root of 3 So square root of 7 square root of 32 plus 8 square root of 50 minus 10 square root of 72. So 7 now square root of 32 is the same as square root of 16 times square root of 2 plus 8 times square root of 25 times square root of 2 minus 10 square root of 36 square root of 2 so 7 now square root of 16 is equal to 4 and then we have square root of 2 plus 8 times square root of 25 is equal to 5 square root of 2 minus 10 square root of 36 is equal to 6 and then square root of 2 so 7 times 4 is equal to 28 square root of 2 plus 8 times 5 is equal to 40 square root of 2 minus 10 times 6 is equal to 60 square root of 2. So now since they, all, they are all this, um, square root of 2 so we can combine them. So we have 28 minus 40. Now, 28 plus 40 minus 60 is equal to 28 plus 40 minus 60 is 8 square root of 2. So, last one we have 15 square root of 108 minus 12 square root of 147 plus 2 square root of 75 so square root of 108 is the same as square root of 36 times the square root of 3 now square root of 147 is the same as square root of 49 times square root of 3 plus 2 and then square root of 75 is square root of 25 times 3 so we have 15 times 6 times 3 minus 12 times 7 root 3 plus 2 times 5 root 3. So 15 times 6 is equal to 90. And then 12 times 7, 84 root 3 plus 10 root 3 so we have 90 minus 84 plus 10 is equal to 16 root 3